Hello, this is Sarika. Okay, so the purpose of these videos are is to help people. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I personally suffer from a lack of direction, a lack of purpose, a lack of focus, obviously. Um, and I think we all do, to a certain extent, especially these days. But these videos are for you guys, whoever is watching them. They're to help you, and they're to help me grow and advance and get somewhere that we weren't before. Move around. Um, I recently had a fantastic experience doing these videos with a friend who asked for some healing work. He had some eye issues, and so I decided to give him eye diksha. Diksha, as you know, is a form of energy mostly for enlightenment. It uh, it institutes a change in the brain which eventually for prolonged use leads to a state of peace and level-headedness and enlightenment in the sense that you're detached from those things which would normally cause you grief or suffering. Um, but in this case, it can, and in other cases it can also be used to heal and I did this video for him and um, also brought through a language of light activation from Saint Padre Pio and he was so overwhelmed at how pertinent everything that I brought through was and how much it helped and what he was experiencing I mean you know moments of ecstatic bliss and just erupting into laughter and then wanting to cry and all of these things just coming through just from a, a simple video that I made and I felt so honored and still feel so honored to have been a part of that and to continually be a part of that I obviously have something to offer um, by way of being a channel or a portal or whatever you want to call it and so that's why I'm here that's what these videos are for they're for all of us okay so I just want to make that clear this is not to confuse you all these things are not to confuse you they're not for my own uh, you know exhibitionist tendencies I'm not saying I don't have them um, they're just to help spread what we can share they're to share okay so in the spirit of that I wanted to bring to people's knowledge if anybody really is watching these videos um, an interesting group of personalities that I encountered a while back that are calling themselves the angels of reconstruction they've given a very simple sound because they do speak through me in the language of light activations or, or blessings or whatever you want to call them an interesting sound which is just the anagram is it anagram I can't remember right now you know what I mean not not anagram the uh, yeah maybe it is anagram AOR angels of reconstruction which can act as a mantra so if you want to bring through and they're starting to get really active right now as I'm doing this if you want to bring through um, that particular energy construct that they represent you can chant as a mantra the sound it sounds really weird but it's very powerful and once you blend it all together and you do it for an extended period of time this certain energy comes through and they've told me that they're attached to that so it's coincidence but it's a magical coincidence so good stuff um, and basically they're a group of what I perceive to be three basic personalities. I'm not saying that's angel number one, angel number two, and angel number three. I personally don't know about the angels anymore, and there's a lot of stuff going around that they may not exist. Um, uh, just you know, in a different dimension, they have, a, they still have a, an existence, and they have a personality construct, and they can help you. So they're still useful. But basically, three personalities come through and I'm saying you know this first personality could be a group of thousands of personalities okay so it's not just one two and three as in they're singular it could be all kinds of things I don't know but um, basically three that come through one usually starts and he works on the lower part of the body and 
as a reflection, a lower, the lower parts of the mind, the recesses, and everything all relates, and it's all very balanced. The next one comes through, and he's like the mid stuff, and the out there in the world stuff, and then the next one comes through, and it's usually higher. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen in this activation, it could be completely different, but the last one is usually higher, and it's head-centered, and it's more spiritually orient oriented to open up spiritual channels, and so on. So, I just thought the, I had the idea this evening to bring you a language of light activation from the angels of reconstruction and see what happens um, it's supposed to be for finding again life's purpose um, focus direction um, moving the things forward in your life that you need to move forward so that you can follow your true path which is something that I'm struggling with right now so if I can bring this through for you, which I seem to be able to do successfully, I can bring it through for myself as well. And uh, I'm going to follow my own advice and watch this video at least three times, okay? Watch it under different circumstances, watch it on an empty stomach, on a full stomach, in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, whatever, always mix it up, you know, but watch it at least three times. Um, watch it while being inc incredibly relaxed, maybe you want to sway a little bit to the sound, that always helps to shake things up. Watch it with like wide eyes and, and try to encompass all the sound and the energy that comes through. Watch it like you're about to fall asleep. I don't know. Just do things differently in your environment and in your body and in your uh, mental state to open yourself up to different portions of the activation, which is, I think, very important. Okay, so Angels of Reconstruction, let's see what they say. ま、ちょっと待てのことでやたらやつまちとことでそこまちめんのなら。おんめてくたれんのがやついてよまちまとくだんだでやらがついてこのまやんな。あのくりやらがついてこのまちめかてるがやつきてんだしてんのがやら
Oh. <clears throat> I've got to stop blowing into the microphone. Um, well, it's kind of difficult to tell what that was about, so I won't comment on it. Um, I'll let you tell me about it. But um, what I was going through <laughs> internally was a lot of uh, struggle, you know, I mean, there's still this shyness and this reticence that comes out of doing these freaky things for the entire public world to see if they wish. Um, so, I don't know. I was going through a lot of... Um, how do I sound? Am I conveying the right feeling? Am I letting go enough? You know, all that kind of uh, crap that enters your head when you're doing something like this. And then a lot of a lot of joy and a lot of the feeling of, like, your reticence is ridiculous. You know, your unwillingness to participate in this joyous act is ridiculous and laughable. <laughs> so why do you think that this looks ridiculous and it sort of feels ridiculous doing it in front of other people? What's more ridiculous is not participating in it when you have the ability to and the predilection to. So that's all I'll say. Um, yes, angels of reconstruction. Call on them. See what they say.